Hi, Ted Harrison Harris Pops here again. Since some of you know, know nothing about, well, well, fine music, I thought I'd sing some Irish music. As you know, Padre McCaffrey, our handyman, he is from Ireland. The home of Irish potatoes and leprechauns and stuff like that. So I thought in honor of, of the Irish people, in honor of uh, St. Patrick, I thought I'd sing some Irish songs for St. Patrick's Day. Everyone knows that rainbows end in gold, guarded by leprechauns, so we've been told. And when you hear someone has found the pot upon the rainbows, and you rejoice, my friend, there is a million dreams upon the rainbows end. Everyone knows that rainbows end in gold, guarded by leprechauns, so we've been told. And when you hear someone has found the pot upon the rainbows and you rejoice, my friend, there is a million dreams upon the rainbows end. Second song. The holly green and evergreen and ever and water and water and seeds and Christmas and Killarney and all the folks at home. The holly green and evergreen and ever and Christmas and Killarney and all the folks at home. And ever and all the all the all the ever and all the all the joy and all the Santa Claus and all the all the all the holly green and evergreen and ever and all the ever and Christmas and Killarney and all the folks at home. The Christmas and Killarney. Next song. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and from the mountainside. The summer's gone and summer in the shadow. Tis you, tis you, tis you, tis you, when I must die. Oh, come ye back the valley in the shadows. For when the valley's hushed and white with snow, for I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Daddy boy, oh, Daddy boy, I love you so. Next song. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way, I know. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long, long way, I know. It's a long way to Tipperary. Long, long way I know. It's a long, long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. Last song. When Irish eyes are smiling, the sun's so bright and gay. When Irish eyes are smiling, They'll seal your heart away. When Irish eyes are smiling, the hearts are bright and gay. But when Irish eyes are crying, they'll steal your heart away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is a medley of our songs. It's quite amazing. So let's drink our green beer and your your Irish potatoes and corned beef and cabbage. As you know, our handy man Patrick, he comes from Ireland. Know that. No, basically comes from Ireland. No, well, songs from Era and all that. Anyway, I, I work with him sometimes. To say, anyway, he said, "Tell my lad, guard this hat well. Bless the power of the pixies." I think it's what they, they, an Irish one they call fairy. Grandpa used to say, the Iraq and fair, they call them fairies. They used to tell all these neat stories and all that about Kelpie, a type of water horse. His lord turned on his back. So lure him out to the ocean and uh, kind of eat them. Like that. But I think basically the favorite the stories were about the leprechauns and all that.
Okay, so there's two types of leprechauns. Kella Clark, he's at the gold diggers, at the, the clock diggers, the shoe bakers. Basically, they dress all in green and all that. They dress all in green and all that. Or funny hats and all that. I mean, Patrick said he got the hat of trade. And this is someone offers a pixie a trade, you can't refuse to wear how bad it is. All I have to say is, yours be mine, and mine be yours. We're amazing. No, no, let's say Patrick was about Irish. Basically, he was from England and all that. Basically, he was a, was, was a, was a sailor. Anyway, he was captured by pirates and all that, of course, being a slave and all that. And it felt like it was all over St. Patrick and didn't know what to do. Then the words of a simple book, the Bible actually appeared to him. And every day he read that Bible and all that. And pirates heard. They actually gave St. Patrick's freedom. Of course, these weren't very intelligent pirates, so they actually dropped off, not in England, but Ireland and all that. Basically, they just went, they St. Patrick, basically, they saw all those, they saw snakes running everywhere, snakes everywhere, snakes in cooking. Six and six and six and in the field, six fathering children and all that. And anyway, the druids were basically trying to control the snakes and all that. The snakes and all that. The druids and the Celts were trying to control all, all the Irish. They didn't know what to do. So basically making the best of the situation, Patrick basically set up a home in home in Ireland and all that. Every day he read, read his Bible and, and prayed and all that. Then we get him preaching to the people of courts about believing in God and all that. Eventually, Patrick became a bishop and all that. Uh, uh, we started to have a mountain and actually held the stick like that. Actually, drove off the stakes and all that. All of a sudden, we saw Mesmerite and Drew was, was, was Mesmerite. They actually, they actually ran off. They jumped in the ocean and swam off. Druids and Celts were surprised. Actually, they jumped off. They, they made it. That's what we call Saint Patrick. Or they keep our Christianity Ireland and all that. So that's why we say celebrate Saint Patrick's Day. The day we celebrate Saint Patrick for Christianity Ireland. And get as drunk and rowdy as possible. And and eat our cabbage, and Irish potatoes, and celebrate our Irish heritage. So that's why we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Ted Hurst over a